Previously on Fire Emblem Awakening. I tried to gather evidence that passing down counter to kill was the right choice, and there was nothing wrong with it. Oh, that's a- oh, counter time, counter time. Oh, come on! Oh, come on. Come on, Inigo, you didn't need to. Did I... I didn't know Inigo has an aisle. Okay, counter time, counter time, finally, come on. Yes! Oof. Look, it made a oh, big difference. Full damage back. Like, this guy, we didn't toot kill him. But with counter, we still didn't toot kill. Big difference maker. <laughs> hey, how's it going everyone? Hope you're having a wonderful Paralog Day, because it's Paralog Day. How's it going, Raisins? Going well, it is Paralog Day. It's even marked on the calendar, National Holiday, Paralog Day. Yeah, everyone just gets off from work and they get to play the Yarn Paralog, along with me. There we go, the Yarn Paralog? I yeah. guess it is specifically the urine paralog. Do we have a different day for the other ones too? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. That means a lots of off days. <laughs> no. I think it's over here. Yeah, there we go. Laws end. Um, I want to do this one for a couple reasons. First of all, I was able to set up some skills that I wanted to pass down to yarn, which is not the case for the other kids. The other reason is it looks like a really hard paralog. And uh, that means we get to go all out on this one. We can deploy some units that are usually a bit too sketchy to deploy, if you know what I mean. So I'm looking forward to just kind of, you know, just blowing out all the stops, or whatever you want to call it, and just kind of, you know, play it. That's right. It's this one time, Master, we will have to go all out. Mm -hmm. Rival Bands? Wait a minute. Why is it called Rival Bands? The other one was called Law's End. Uh, I, oh, Law's, Law's End, End is though. the location, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. More like Paws mm -hmm. and Aragorn. <laughs> I, I, I really was Paws trying to look for a pun. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> these, are, these are the Stonewall Knights. I do like this line though. If you need a second notice, I'll write it down on your men's corpses. What? Oof. <laughs> this guy's face. <laughs> I saw an image today. Hold up. Let me let me grab it real quick. I, I saw this image today and I forgot about it. It's like a huge meme, or it used to be. I saw it. I, I, just, I can't stop laughing. This image is so yeah, fucking funny. Know. Look at the Discord chat. <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> look at this guy, this this left-handed guy, whatever his name is. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't see it anymore. Do you agree? It looks so much like that. Just a bit. Yeah, I mean, he's got the... <laughs> he's got the, like, mm. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> the oof stones. We're the Stonewall Knight. <laughs> My lord. Alright, it's it's mercenaries that are fighting each other. Right. And then the, the villagers are like, No, I don't want fighting near me, because that probably means our shit gets destroyed. Yeah, there he is again. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop seeing it now. Oh. Stick him full of holes. <laughs> Time to fertilize the field, soldiers. Because we have the Stonewall Knights. I didn't catch what the horse boys were called. <laughs> Don't worry, I got just the thing to stonewall them. Band of riders or a band of knights? Time to make our choice. Well, I hate to say the it. Choices matter. Yeah, it's actually really cool how this works. I'm gonna show it when it starts out. Uh, so Yarn is over here chilling. He's in range of Pan, turn one with an easy flight. And then we have a bunch of knight dudes here, a couple sages. I'm explaining this partially to you because I don't think you've played this one, right? I have played this one, actually. Oh, you have? So. Okay, I'm sorry. In that case, this explanation is for viewers only, so <laughs> avert your ears. There's <laughs> uh, so a swordmaster here, a couple generals here, and it's like, oh, that's, that's everything? It's like, no, that's actually not everything. And then over here, we have a bunch of NPCs, like a bunch of six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten knights or so, just chilling over here with their, with their silver weaponry. That's all well and good. But then when it starts, that's when really that's when shit really starts. Um, let me load my preparations real quick to uh, finish this introduction. Intro introduction is how you say the word. Be right back. Yeah. We got Bonite Donald. Mm-hmm. We're bringing the boy. We're bringing the man himself, Donald. Because <coughs> the way I see it, these are strong enemies, so I get to bring star characters as well. So I'm bringing the whole A team, uh, Donald, because he's the husband of Pan. Wow, my voice is dying right now. Uh, we got Kiel over here, the stone wall. I decided that counter is a little bit too powerful, so I gave her defense tonic, so she counters for less damage, and also oh, to yeah. increase her survivability. Um, our sorcerer Lawrence, with Nasuratu and everything on top of it, I gave him the good old dying blaze. <laughs> it's a three-use magic zone that's just gonna break after one round of combat, probably, mm -hmm. or two, with any luck. Um, Lucina, for his partner. Uh, Gregor and Naoi. I also gave Naoi some tonics because I think she has some trouble doubling this chapter. And what I actually want to try doing here is uh, I have an item from some kind of barracks shining tile called Chris's Confect. 
And apparently it grants 5 HP and plus 2 defense res. I'm gonna give that to someone. I don't think I would give it to Naoi if she's too good. Uh, but I think I might give it to... I don't know, Devake seems kind of funny just to give him more HP. Although he has, he has 69 HP, maybe not Gregor. Or maybe not... Uh, I want, there was someone I wanted to give it to. Maybe we should give it to Pan. That'd be fair, I think. Yeah, Pan. Pan is going to be in the danger zone for a non-zero number of turns, so yeah. might as well. Alright, let's see how this works. Okay, yeah, so it does work as I thought it would. It reduces the twos by one, uh, but then she has the plus five HP and the plus two on both defenses. And her, her defense actually isn't all that good. It's only 16. I did level her to level five, so she could pass down Deliverer to um, Yarn, because I couldn't really think of a better skill she could get besides maybe Lancebreaker or something, but that's like gotten much later or whatever other skill she can get. So, Speaking of which, what'd you pass down from Donald? Um, that, that might be a little bit controversial. Uh, I pass on Aptitude. I know it's Let's not... <laughs> it's not... Probably not optimal because Yarn is pretty likely to get a bunch of good growths anyway. I don't know from the top of my head, but I'll probably throw down the growths on the screen at some point. Uh, but I was like, you know what? I just like ding, 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 ding. So this will give him 20% more ding, 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 every stat. So I just went with Aptitude. I probably... The optimal choice is probably Arm Strift. But if we're here for pl optimal play, we should, probably shouldn't play Awakening. Yeah, no, put, him, put him in aptitude. Yeah, give him those growths. You can always reclass him a mercenary later. Right now, we need that. We need, we need those dopamine hits from the yeah from the plus stats. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up though, because yeah, if I if I want arm strength on him after all, I can just reclass him to mercenary, and that's like easy to get because it's like level it's either level one or level ten. I forgot which. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's level one actually, so it'll be very easy, easy to get. So yeah, um, so Gregor Nawi because Nawi is also defensive behemoth. Uh, we got the Vacant here, uh, along with Sully, and then I have Noodle Lissa. Um, I'm gonna leave out Olivia again. I'm not a big fan of it, but I mean, even units. And I think I'm only gonna need one staff unit for the most part because my units are really good. But we'll see how that works out exactly. Uh, I think my units are slightly in the wrong order. I think I'm supposed to have. Uh, let's see. I think the idea was gonna be. Uh, Inigo needs to be here. Kale needs to be able to run into him. And then I think Laurent over here, where all the uh, generals are, is pretty good. It's gonna bring Lucina along, who's right here, that's good. Uh, the fake, I don't really care where he goes, as long as it's where a bunch of enemies are. Gregor Nawi is good. Uh, Rob and Lissa can just stay separate for a bit. And Pan just needs to be in range with Yarn, turn one. I hope she can survive, we'll figure that out as we go along. Um, right, and, well, I mean, which, well, never mind. We'll, we'll get to that later. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I forgot anything super important. If there was, there, there's probably a quick reset we can do to do that. But. Yes, there, there's one obvious question that I need to ask before going in here, but I'm going to save until we get to that point for some spectacle, you know. Okay. Oh, right. The, the question comes after the preps, like right after. So, yeah. Exactly. Let's go. Because there's a twist. So, there's always a twist. There's a twist. Dude, he's calling us mercenaries. Okay, so he's going to pay us if we back him. He's like, hey, oh, do, we get money? do you want to assist the red army? And like, if you say yes, um, they all turn green. Uh, the other guys on the other side, they turn uh, red, and then you'll get, uh, I think you get 500 gold for every enemy of the night band that you kill. So you get rewarded basically for not letting the green units do the work. Um, so for now, I'm going to say no. And then you get to this one. It's like, hey, <laughs> dude, that's very cool that you just stonewalled the oof stone guy. Uh, a sensible lad, come fight with us instead. And it's like, hey, I'll pay you twice what that fool would. I don't think he does that. I think he just pays you 500. Uh, the same way that the, uh, the, the red guys do. Uh, but if you say yes here, then it just stays the way it is, like red and green. And then say no. And then it's like, oh, you can take the Revelations path. You want Niter? You want to fight them both? That seems kind of hard. <laughs> and if you say yes, he's like, you, I should have known. You, are you, you scoundrel, are, you it's, dastard. It's like, it's like, are you actually sure you want to pick Revelations here? And if you say oh, no, God. Is it start all over again? <laughs> <laughs> right. I think even the music like restarted its loop. Yeah. Too. <laughs> Just, okay. um, the cool thing is though, Listen. I think if you fight them both, I think you get rewarded by the village or someone else. I don't know who, but I do know you get 10k if you actually manage to fight them both off. So I want to fight them both. What? Because uh, I'm a scoundrel like that. So let's fight both armies. I was like, oh god, are you really sure? <laughs> but yeah. I'm pretty sure. Let's go. Are you ready? Let's see if there's any extra units, because I do know that. Yep, oh, <laughs> there is extra no. units. All right. Yep. There we go. <laughs> and then uh, this whole yeah. squad comes in and is like, "Oh, you want to fight us? Let's go." <laughs> Oof. Oof. And that's why I felt comfortable bringing the A team, because we have this whole squad just lying in wait here to wreck us. 
Yeah, we have the whole. Oh my goodness. I don't know if they all move though, but yeah, this oh, is the, the on the right. Spot. Yeah, they they move. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Uh, you only have one Donald, and for some reason, it's, it's not gonna be like Donald. But again, we do have better units that we did in Donald Paralog. Like they actually sort of match up semi comfortably. We have like some pretty good units over here. So hopefully, we'll be able to make it work. Let's let's see how Eatingo does, for instance. Uh, Rather have to see how. Uh, Pat, what's her name? Kale does. There we go. She does have 39 defense, which is massive. So she actually doesn't take damage from most of these enemies. In fact, there's only a couple of magical ones. So if we're very careful, we can probably avoid those altogether. And uh, I did put a beast killer on her, as well as a fun new force that I made the killer axe, which is just a max my bronze axe to take after her dad. And um, if I just do the proper equipment, I can probably minimize the, f the damage from the magical enemies. They also have like lower attack than the rest. I mean, particularly this guy does with 26. This guy is a Thoron. There's Calibur here. Yeah, Plus, 19 magic is kind of sad. That is kind of sad. Why, why is that guy so sad? Uh, is it even a guy? I mean, it's a Valkyrie. It probably is a she. Valkyrie, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, they seem so upset. They're sending me to battle. They didn't give me a spirit dust. <laughs> Okay, well, well, we'll see if she managed to get through it. Uh, I would like to be in the woods, so maybe I should be in the woods. You would like to be? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, this is a Bulgodon guy. 32, how much damage does that do to her? 32. That's like 20-ish damage. That's maybe, maybe that's enough for a day for her. It's like, like, there's like two of them, too. Man, I wish I had Rally Spectrum right now, honestly. I do have Rally Magic over here. Maybe I should do Naoi first. Uh, where's Gregor? Still doing this pairing because I haven't set up anything else yet. She has 18 res. A bit more than her. She has 32 defense, which is less though. I'm gonna take my chances with Kale for now, I think. And we'll see how it goes from there. We'll use the Javelin so we can get rid of the Valkyries early. She does have like really good stats overall, so hopefully she'll be able to get it done. Yeah, um, I can't imagine her taking much damage from the physical attackers anyway, so. Mm -hmm. we, we only, go, we only go just matter, but she's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Donald has 30 defense. He gets a bit more from Pan as well. It's 35. That's like kill level. So if we switch to him this turn, he'll probably be okay. There's some dudes here with like 40-ish attack. But overall, I think he'll do fine. Let's give it a try. How fast is that SM Swordmaster guy? 28. How bad is Laurent against him? He gets double probably. Let's see what the Suna pair up. Plus 7 speed. Now he doesn't get double anymore. I think he'll be okay. Do you have enough HP to survive? Looks like he does. Yeah, so the reason I'm checking all this is I want to put Donald, or I want to put Lauren in range to bait him away from Donald and get XP on Lawrence, and also get him closer to, like, Vengeance, I guess. I think he gets Vengeance at 5, maybe it's Stonebreaker, either way it'll be good. And um, that way Donald won't, like, absorb all the XP like the Jagan that he is. So I can go here. Yeah, he's had enough, we need to chill out with him a bit. <laughs> need to conserve him. Oof, we got Deliverer, let's go. Yeah. Alright, so let's... Uh, we also need to get Yarn out of there, I guess. That's also important, because he might die if I keep him there. Um, we have only the one rescue staff, right? So. Yeah, I mean, we do have that one, so I guess I could just use it to get him out of there once I recruit him. That's probably the best way to do it. I know how everyone else does that, but that seems to be the way I to do it. If I keep Yarn here, or if I keep Pan here, she doesn't get, like, one round it, but there's a lot of enemies here, and I think this guy particularly... Well, he can't reach. But, like, this guy... In conjunction with everything that's here. I mean, if they if if they see that Warren is lower defense, they might go for him instead, but I'm just gonna switch it on and play it safe. So let's do that. Um I think I can do that after talking. I'm just gonna equip a hammer. Switch. Um, make sure to equip I mean this weapon isn't really I guess this is the best weapon he can have. I don't think he can use Oh he can't use armor slayer, I just forgot to put one on him. So talk. What's up, Yarn? You what up? <laughs> What up, boy? Hey there. Oh, God. I think when Awakening was just released, I think Yarn was, like, probably the most hated character out there. From his recruitment convo, I can kind of see it, but I also kind of understand him. So maybe the hype, maybe the hate is a little over-hate. I haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> hmm. Anything offensive? <laughs> All these swords and brigands. Right. The man spawn. How dare you call this, you know, a man spawn? Hmm. A recipe for extinction. Extinction. I mean, yeah, I can't really blame a man for mm -hmm. getting involved in some mercenary work. <sighs> oh, she sounds very angry. Oh. <laughs> no son of mine will survive by taking the path of a coward. I'm gonna teach him some cow some tagwell pride starting right now. Well, easy recruitments. 
We can even attack, but I think I was gonna leave it to him. Damn, he's a, he's a strong man. Uh, switch and just no, no, Donald, stay here and then just I guess I can rally skill him. He's really hurt, I guess. And then uh, Lissa coming with the rescue. Come here. I wonder if they'll literally all start moving. That'll be hilarious if they do. All right, got a whole map, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know how far to put Lorne in. I think he's like really good against generals. Not so sure about like Swordmasters and Thoron Mages and everything, but there's only one way to find out. Uh, how much time do you take anyway? I might not even have enough Nostrad to use on him. I might have to give him a couple more because it's gonna be it's gonna be busy out here. Do you have another one here? I do. 33 ish Nostrad too. Yeah. Um, We're low on Nos. I only got 33. <laughs> now it's uh, 53. 53. Right. Let's take it easy. Bit better. Let's take it easy. Um, switch. I mean, he can he have vantage, so he'll probably save his own life at some points. Uh, just make sure they're all queued up. And let's just get started somewhere. Oh, good reminder to do animations. Actually, this, or, this alone might already be enough to kill him if they attack in the wrong order. Okay. I think if these two can handle themselves, then we should send more people right, because that seems like a more dangerous situation. If they can't handle themselves, then they're basically already lost. So I think we're sending people right. I think so. The only difficulty I anticipate in the right is that with the movements breaking up terrain, it might be possible mm. for our units to be like tripping over each other and standing mm -hmm. on each other's squares. But you're right. Mm. It, it, it's such a it's such a minor thing. Mm. I don't think we'll encounter it. Rally strength, not bad. It's, uh, action economy. This. Oof! Look at him go. Try to bait something, I guess, with Naoi. I don't think it's gonna work. Twenty four speed. Yeah, that ain't enough to double anything. So let's just chill with her, and just uh, wait a second here, see what happens. Oh, did it do animations? I did. Okay, good. Here we go. Okay. Yusuna has the rape here, so a dual strike from her should kill this guy, I think. I think you to equip it, though. Uh, I think I did. Yep. Oh, wait, did you? I, I don't know, I didn't... I think I had it by default. I don't think I changed it uh, where you can yeah, see it. Yeah, she got nothing on. She got nothing? Oh, damn. F. Well, I guess Dorn's gonna have to uh, do this on his own then. Oh, I, mean, well. I mean, again, if he ends up on low HP and an enemy on low HP attacks him, he just vantages and kills them first. So he should be okay here. Together. Also, if he ends up surrounded, he um, they just go for Donald instead. Yeah, it looks like Lucina is just taking a day off here. Or they attack from two range. Oh, that, that they can do that, but it's not helping here. Or needs the more magic. Yeah. Also, he's getting like three shots, so I'm not worried about him dying to not like a combination of like dual strikes, crits, weapon breaks, stuff like that. Yeah, I can't really think of any combination of attacks that would really do him in. Even these magic attackers are like not doing a whole lot. Thankfully not. But I think a worse Nostrat to use, like I was considering fielding Henry for this, for example, but uh, it doesn't look like it's it would save him. Okay, yeah, you have like no hit rate. <laughs> Goodbye, dude. Alright, see ya. Oh, hello. That's, uh... Ah, oh, shit, my counter has been negated. Ah, oh, thanks, Inigo. Much appreciated. He countered the counter that was negated? Yeah. So you negated your counter. Mm hmm And then he double negated your counter. Does that mean it's, like, one or negative two? What happened? <laughs> Counters for negative damage. <laughs> he hits himself. Wow, spear for zero? Okay. There was an attempt. Now I feel like I should have done way? javelin. Oh, I did do javelin. I'm smart. Thank you, Pass Micro. <laughs> Shout out to Pass Micro for sometimes making the right decision. No. Always looking out for future Micro. <laughs> what a bro. Except, except when I'm procrastinating. Then I hate Pass Micro. <laughs> Why is. <laughs> this unit I recruited like two episodes ago and now she's already part of the A team? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I mean, 33 defense kind of good turns Ooh. out. Ironic. She can increase other people's defense, but also herself. Her own. Wait, does really increase your own statue? Nah, it doesn't increase your own, unfortunately. Uh, what are you waiting for? Oh, okay. <laughs> she fell flat on the ground. <laughs> she slid onto the ball. <laughs> what an animation. You should die as bomb. Yeah, die that's bomb. great. <laughs> I love that actually. Time to dodge. Inigo, do it. Thank you. Yes, Radiant Dawn tier wind up times. On oh, let's go. 
Oh, that's a badass animation. Hardly a fair match. 69. That too. Of course, Inigo with 69 somewhere. <laughs> of course. Oh, they're all moving. Dude, I think Lauren might have to do all this work here. <laughs> I don't think anyone else can handle it either. They'll just like make it more harder for myself. Dude, mm, they're all I, moving. <laughs> And maybe anticipate there being a problem if he has to nos for Ratu, one of these targets that's on low HP. Well, but even then, you just vantage. Yeah, and... like, see, if he's on low HP and he vantages someone and he, they're on low HP, they die. And if they're not on low HP, he just gets a bunch of health back. So, the way I see it, I think he's fine. Um, yeah, you definitely didn't have anything to equip, but it didn't really hurt him, so that's fine. Yeah, the only, I think the only thing that can kill him here is the lack of Nas Ratu uses, and that's about it. Um, he run out. Potentially, got maybe. 20, He's got 40 uses. 20 for. enemies we can take out. Yeah. I mean, there's not 20 enemies here, like not in range right now at least, so I think it'll be okay. There's also Donald to just distract some enemies here. Um, not sure which we should distract because I don't want Donald to get involved with these guys. Not really. I'd, li I'd like them to stay on their own turf, if you will. I guess I'll just like move further left. Just try to kill the Swordmaster or something. Or oh, did he take like, three shots? Oof. Damn. This guy's annoying. Well, do strike should take care of him at some point. Um, I don't care about the enemies on low HP. I think I'm gonna hit this guy. I was about to ask like, how would the Swordmasters do? Do they double us? Uh, they don't double him because I checked the speed before. They did double him when he's like not paired up, but with a plus seven from Lucina, he's not dying to that. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, plus seven. Yeah. I just had this pair go back. Oh, you can rally skill, I guess. It doesn't really help very much, though. I'd rather just stay out of range with him. It's kind of difficult, though. I guess I just don't want the enemies to come further down, so... Let me just move Krom away here. These enemies are closer to me, though. Okay, I do have to be careful of, like, not getting sandwiched here. Maybe it's time for the Vake to step in and help out as well. Is that a yarn kill on the Paladin, though? <laughs> Wait, um... I mean, I would like to show off what he can do, but the problem is he ends up in range of, like, so many enemies. Just uh, rescue staff, you got it. How badly does he die? He take he take like three hits to die. So like this stuff is being this is like an in, indicated as a safe spot, but it actually isn't because if I move now he way just dies to the paladin. If I put yarn here, I have to rescue staff him. Which again, I'm not sure if that spot is safe after I kill the paladin, but it should be right. They they kind of get their whole momentum broken by the forests. It should be safe to go like roughly there where it's in, the game indicates it's safe. Let's uh, have him live up to his coward's name. Uh, let's, see what, let's see if he becomes a bunny as well. I think he does. He should be a bunny. Oh, he definitely does. Okay, bunny time. No pair up. Just straight up hitting the guy. Got He's him. He's a lone wolf. Or a lone <laughs> bunny, maybe. <laughs> Alright, there's your yarn kill. Okay. 83 um, XP. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, rescue... Uh, not you, uh, Yarn. Here, yeah, don't misclick that, it's kind of important. Yeah, <laughs> goodbye, Kill. <laughs> okay, uh, Kill is mostly fine. She'll probably run out of Javelin uses if I just stay here and just keep using Javelin. So maybe this is a good turn to use something else. I was hoping to use it against the magic users, but uh, they're not quite in range yet. Um, let me kill most of them. I can hit like a one range enemy. The thing is, I don't want to be in range of like more than a couple magic users. So maybe just negate, like, just don't be in range of these two, just be in range of Arkwind dude who does, like, nothing. It's like 16 damage or something. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. And this guy, he's a little bit more, he's like, eight more attacks, that's still not lethal. And everything else is, like, zero. Maybe it's time for the Keter Axe. Well, there are three, yeah, there's only three Valkyries are in range of, I think. Oh, there's another one here, yeah, you're okay. right. I didn't see that one. Well, if we want to stay out of range of that one, that's something different. Do you have Thorn or something? Excalibur. That's also kind of weak. And I think they had like 30-ish hit. I think we can afford to stay in their range for the most part. And with Tavoid too. Yeah, but Thorn is the main threat. He yes. doesn't have much hit rate going into the forest here with these supports. I think I want to rally strength her again, because she just two shots enemies with it. So I'd have to use Fake to come a little bit closer. Uh, emphasis on a little bit. He has 33 defense though, so... Yeah, he's fine against all these enemies. It's just the Valkyries doesn't really like, just like, you know, like daughter, like fodder, I guess. Like, yeah. 
But again, he doesn't care about anything else, so I think I'm just gonna go in and rally strength here. And, uh... If they wanna go for her, with it. that's fine. She can rally too, she has rally defense, she can help Vake, but he doesn't need it. So... Yeah, I'm gonna... I mean, I'm gonna make her, make her that proud, I'm gonna use the, the, the counter axe. Murder this uh, silver short guy. Leave the bow knights alive. Yeah. Those will be future yard kills. Yeah. <laughs> Hello there. Not today. General Q. Who's next? <laughs> Yo, wait, we got B rank on Ego? Oh, we did. Alright, nice. Oh, not bad. Silver sword time. That is silver sword time. Uh, if we put Naoi, like, around here somewhere. Maybe an enemy will come over here and kill him with yarn. <laughs> that is my idea. And then this Swordmaster, I don't want to hit Krom. That's fine. I'll just kind of sandwich him right here for now. I can always break him out later. They can hold their own if they really need to. Yeah, Noodle's got a few tomes yeah. to get rid of that strength pain, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put Donald over here. I don't think they'll go for him besides maybe the Swordmaster, but I think even he would go for Lorenth over, over Donald. It's like if I put him in range, it just the the range enemies will just go for him, and that's annoying. So I'll just I'll just leave him as a big reinforcement here. I could switch to Anne, and then only the Swordmaster will be able to reach her. She has a bunch of speed. She actually doubles the Swordmaster, I think. And that way, next turn we can fly back in if we need to. And even the Thoron, I think maybe maybe the Thoron can reach. But yeah, the Thoron has more formal range. This guy's equal range. That's a little worrying. I can be in range of only the Thrawn guy. I think the Thrawn guy alone is not a threat to Anne. Yeah, it's fine. Like, it's not gonna kill her. So I'll just stick. Yeah, I'll, so I'll switch to Pan. That works. That was Swordmaster. Yeah, should be good. Yeah. And next. And chill. With 57 for HP. Yeah. Alright, so. And again, they also made a text this low defense boy over here. Yeah. Like, as long as they don't know to combine for kills, if they think they can kill Pan, so... They'll just go for the lowest defense target every time. Maybe don't gain too much defense there, Lawrence. Ooh, Now we're cooking with vengeance. Ooh. Um, Wait, which one would we pick? Ah, uh, some advantage, don't like that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I think I'll get rid of Focus or Magic Plus 2. Although I like Magic Plus 2. Um, let's see, avoid dodge by 10 for one of I like this. I like these two. I think we'll get rid of focus. I like the crit, but honestly, I mean, crits don't really hurt him or anything. And he gets Vengeance's better crit anyway, so... Yeah, I think this makes sense. By focus. Yeah, Vengeance. Vengeance is crit that doesn't reduce my number of right, so... Basically, yeah. Let's see in action if he gets hit. Well, let's see now. No, stop negating my carefully bred skills with pair-ups. Okay, she's definitely equipped now. You can, you can still dual guard when you're on a quick ray. It's just dual strikes that don't happen. Sure, I actually have no idea though. Because you know, you look down at the number, and you can see the dual strike and the dual guard percentage. And I remember the dual guard percentage being non-zero. Uh, but I may also be misremembering. Do you see it now? No, right? I don't think there's any way to. I guess if you click that. Ooh, there's vengeance. Ooh, damage. Finally, vengeance. Oof. Ah, oh, so close. Maybe she had a better weapon, she would've killed there. But I wanted the rape here. Maybe yeah, I should've given her armor player. We would've gotten more HP missing and more damage from the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> this extra three damage is really gonna make a difference. Nice. Oh, that's nice! Oh, that did make a difference! The exact math. Perfect. That was so cool. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. If that Swordmaster had less strength, it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> Thanks, Swordmaster. Dude, full health vengeance. <laughs> you just get to see his quotes more often, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a quote machine now. <laughs> they now just become a vehicle for delivering one-liners. <laughs> My sincerest apology. That's fine, dude. That's Magic a two-liner. We'll take it. We'll I mean, take it. Yeah, that's honestly like one of the better level-ups you could have gotten. <laughs> Drain him. Chance. This is awakening. Drain him. Grunge. Alright, who's next? prediction came true. They are not going to pan. It's the longest I've ever heard Gimme Face Music go. Let's go. Ooh. You shouldn't have done that. 
You shouldn't have done that. A fine subject. Oh, that was beautiful. What the perfect? Beautiful. This is how we train Lucina. We put her as a pair apart and fought the characters. <laughs> Look at these piddling amounts of XP. Look at what they do have to do to mimic a fraction of our power. Oh, you're gonna break the rapier. <laughs> I have another one. It's fine. I think I can. I could have bought one at one point from an Anna shop too. It's uh, not the most rare weapon ever. Oh, there's the sage that can hit her. I'm here. I could hit her. Yes, there's a non-zero hit rate. Let's go, Pan. See, Rider, she keeps the ears. Ooh, she's got an equal amount of kills as Yarn this map. <laughs> Next candidate. God, this is satisfying. Nice dodge. Can you put another one of those uh, dual strikes? Ooh. Ah, yeah. Yeah, pairing her up with another unit will not stop her from getting kills. We see that you two are leveled. You will not stop me. Bro! Ooh. So strong. It's like the inverse of what he got last time. Wait, why do, we, why do we have panic again? Oh. Ooh. Maybe that's why. Alright. Okay, dude. I didn't see that you had that. Calm down. Okay, that's maybe. The first time I've seen that. Simple, anyway. This would be a good time for vengeance, honestly. But he's like, nah, dude. I need to check yeah. a couple skills. Don't need that. Dude, is he invincible? Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. Excellent data. Lord's doing research on does Nosferatu break the game? Question no, mark. He, need, he needs n equals thirty or higher data points. Yeah. Or is it thirty-one? I, I never remember. He grows weary of using Nosferatu, but so many enemies. It's gonna break at some point. Sixty-nine percent to hit. Let's go. Okay, now we will break. We can't say that when now he's on screen. That sounds sus. No, God. I mean, well, sure. gotta shelter her. That's a yarn kill. And this is now that that is a yarn. The prophecy is coming true. Yo, what the fuck? Yeah, hey, how do you have so much strength? <laughs> Ooh, <what the? laughs> Yeet. <laughs> he just yeets a hand axe right back at him and he just fall over. Amazing. Then he did 43 strength. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, get out of here. HP plus two. Who, need, who needs a Basilio? <laughs> <laughs> Is Basilio like known to have a bunch of HP? I know he's like a warrior. I remember, I remember space is being pretty good, but you know, that's not a here nor there. Mm -hmm. Rape your time? Rape your time. Wow, 13 damage right there. I'm so glad he got double vengeance on this one. Alright, might be time to avenge Lord with these two powerful. <laughs> what is this symbol? Oh, another enemy. No. Yeah, we gotta send the B team in here, so we gotta bench Warren and bring out Bait. <laughs> Oh, that might be too much. Can we get some uh, spendthrift in here? Or what's it called? Uh, despoil? Despoil. Oh, yeah. At this point, it should all go get... for Faye because he's so low. In fact, he can die if he gets hit. Phase. Don't get hit here. Good boy. Nice dodging a lightning storm. Yeah, it's nice that they didn't go for Kel there. She doesn't counter. Because he's got the Keller axe. Show him who's boss. Let's go. That's true. The YouTube comment section, I think, erroneously informed us that it only works on your face. Because didn't we get it to work on enemy face once? <laughs> Goodbye. What works on enemy face? A spoil. Or... It sh I mean, the first time we used it, one. you told me it worked on enemy face, and we saw it happen too, I think. Like, right after. Sure. I do believe. I, I, I don't know. I had some doubts in the YouTube comment section. They're, yeah. they're right like 90% of the time, but I'm, I'm not going to lie, y'all was wrong. Right so I did some research into this and it looks like from the experiences of other people I can find on Google and YouTube that it cannot proc on enemy phase and I was probably wrong and I'm probably misremembering something. If that's the case, I apologize. It will probably be brought up a couple more times because I'm only correcting myself on this now. But it looks like you can't get these spoils on enemy phase. Like, the thing is, like, we... Um, it might be easy to think of Vake as Donald because he's so strong, but Vake only has like 18 luck or so. He's not guaranteed to proc it every round of combat like Donald is for Armstrift. Ah, that's true. 
Yeah, luck kind of good, turns out. Yeah, it's nice when they just add that to, like, I think that's honestly, like, the idea behind all the skills being, like, I mean, besides the fact that they're called skills, like, they had to pick stats to base off mastery skills off, and they decided to th go with things like skill and luck. Stats that they knew weren't very good, so in that way, the devs knew what they were doing. Very smart devs. That's true. I did the same thing in Radiant Dawn and other ones, too. It was all based off skill. Yeah. But Radiant Dawn's skill and luck were also just, like, really strong. Okay, I think I get, like... I have this calming music now on player face. Yeah. <laughs> it's been so long. It's like the... It's the prologue music, come to think of it. Oh, Very it funny. is. Very funny. Uh, we don't... Yeah, we can't visit the villages, right? They just... Yeah, they closed on us, I think. Unless we can? No, we can still visit them. Really? Oh. Yeah, they're open right up. All open right. for business. Open for business. Well, I mean, bring it, down, but... is throughout the enemy? Do the bosses move? No, right? No. Okay, so we have the time to get to the bar to the villages. Uh, the bossing. Like, I don't want to accidentally route the map, basically. And Lawrence is going to route the map if we uh, let them. Uh, there's one Nostratu use left, but he should be fine. Like at this point, is he like strong enough to just last without Nostratu? Nah, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. No, no, that's highly dubious. Okay, so we just break our NOS on one of these good guys to equip the fresh one. Uh, maybe only a couple dudes left. I'm just gonna go over here, I think. Kill this high HP one. Just to flex on them. Because look, look, look. Okay, look. This might seem dubious because now low HP enemies will attack me and he'll drain less HP. Uh, while he's done advantage drain, so we can't take advantage of it. But this means he takes more damage after the battle is over. And he procs vengeance with higher damage output. There we go. It's a win-win. So the, the, the biggest of burns. I mean, now we survive just if you know. You kill? Paired up with now again? Yeah. Just two beasts. Chilling. He's done. Oh, what if we pair Yarn with Nah? <sighs> He's just chilling. Nah. Doing the soft, he's doing a soft squat. Yo, bro. <laughs> he's getting strong it's too. It's a good start. It's a good start. I will probably second seal into something. I just haven't decided what yet. I think, honestly, I should have brought a second seal for him to use. I have one on Naui, actually, that he could use next turn if I really wanted to. But there's probably not going to be any enemies left after that. Okay. Um, this should put him up if I do this. Yarn. Hello. Here you are. Yarn. Go up. Thank you. Put him in safe yeah, it's, uh, it's safe plus. Well, I guess this is not exactly safe, but we can make it safe. Maybe we should use this turn. Then. Come again? I'm saying this is stats for level 13 sage. It's pretty. It's getting pretty evident we promoted her early and didn't second seal her at all. <laughs> You're right. I mean, she's basically staff bot utility anyway until she gets tome fair, and then she's staff bot utility that passes down tome fair. Um, I'm probably gonna elixir fake so he doesn't die. Actually. Uh, this sage will probably kill him if I don't. Yeah, don't don't do Ooh. that. Uh, what? Wait, what if you kill the sage first? Um, uh, if I kill the sage with fake, uh, there's like so I need to do slight damage to him, I guess. There's like the Valkyries here. I can kill a Valkyrie and a sage, and there's only one Valkyrie left, and they don't reach that spot. Yeah, I think I'll need the lower Valkyrie. Yeah. Hmm. So bash this guy's head in with fake, I guess. And if just... a whole lot of them turn on to Vake. And they well, might, because it's so low. Boys to damage. Are you further from the mic right now? Or am I just streaming? Uh, yeah. My okay. apologies. Okay. Yeah, no, if you... If you attack... Or if the physical boys attack Vake, will he take any serious damage from them? Like, how much uh, damage does he take from these boys? Yeah, oh, so no. he has 39 defense, so this guy no, this guy no, this guy no, this guy no, this guy no. Uh, it's just this guy. I think there was, like, one enemy that can... Oh, it's, like, this general, I think. He has 42. He has, like, 5. And he's a web triangle disadvantage, so I think the the proper answer to your question is no, he doesn't take any serious damage. We can go for it. And uh risk everything on it. It's uh it's just how it likes it. How does Sully do? Just out of curiosity, I'm not gonna do it because her defense is so much lower. She doesn't do terrible either. But she takes damage. She could be better. Does it does kill does kill kill the guy first? I don't know if we line that one up. That's a good question. Should probably figure that one out before we Yeah, I mean anything. it is the killer axe. It is uh, it's a fourth bronze, it's gonna hit. Also use silver for a one to kill if one to be extra overkill. Ooh, Which I think that's fun. good. But if we use the killer axe, then Inigo has a chance to get a dual strike in. 
Oh, it's been so. The answer is clear then. Yeah. And like, if she takes damage, it's whatever, because nothing else does damage to her besides that other fuck three. Uh, and you go. Disappointing man. Go get him. I love how even in battle, when you're actually there already, General still take forever to get to the enemy. Oh boy. Slowly marching. Vix just gets in there and just kind of you know, yeah. tiptoes up. Yeah, I roll. I can't wait for him to finish the last enemy off with the imposing axe. Okay. Uh, there's something. Oh, the bow knight. Well, that's uh, something we can leave to Naoi again. Uh, Robin could also do it. Robin actually doubles without a pair of bonus. That's pretty insane. Let's move you down one. And then this down. The and then Naoi, I think, just do here. And just let him come, and then we have another kill for Yarn. Seems good to me. Just a conservative play. Nothing too outrageous. Yeah. Nothing too insane. Yeah, it looks good Something to me. Gonna... Um, Once we kind of weathered the initial storm, I don't... Oh, hold on a minute. Let me actually look up that there are reinforcements. There's... I just had that thought. Yeah, there's no reinforcements, I'm pretty sure. But go ahead and look it up, just in case. But... Yeah, I'm almost dead soon. Yeah. I forgot to mention that at the start of the chapter, but yeah, I looked it up. There were reinforcements, like, right at the start, and that was it. Yeah, that's it. Oh! Paralog. I mean, he just got Vengeance Crit, but Vengeance was at full HP. A logical result. The Vengeance Crit. Mm -hmm. Riders of Dawn? Oh! It's a throwback. It might, it might just be a reference to Fire Emblem, a technical strategy RPG released in the 90s. It did Dude. reference the previous game. They have the spear. Did you know the spear is a weapon? <laughs> oh, the Tomahawk, too. <laughs> Reference. It's reference to real life where Tomahawks can hurt people too. Ooh. You know, Vengeance is kind of like. It's getting me hyped for something that's not really that hype. Uh, is this a crit? It's actually crit, right? Yeah. It's getting me hyped for things that are not that hype. <laughs> it's, just like, it's just a quote machine, like you said. He's just saying a line, like, you yeah. didn't do anything. Yeah. My work here is done. You didn't do anything. <laughs> I'll keep you safe. A logical result. A logical result. Science says Thorn OP. Doing it again. <laughs> but it's like skill percent, right? I think it's, it's skill must be like in the thirties right now with the para bonus and everything. Either skill or half skill, I can't remember. It almost has to be skill percent. He's rocking it so much. Is there anything that's skill divided by half percent? Maybe Astra. This skills, I think, are half skill percent. Ether definitely is. I'll check. Ether's kind of busted. Oh, I didn't rally strength, but it's okay, because kills too strong for anyway. Oh, it's go. double skill percent. Wait, what? Awakening, apparently. Vengeance? Yeah, it's double skill percent. S skill times 2%? Times what the fuck? Yeah, skill times 2. Oh, damn, so it's like 60%. Damn, okay. That explains a lot of things about my life right now. I learned a lot. Let me look up Astro then. Or maybe Ether. Offensive skill. Yeah, it's half skill percent. Oh, that's very fair. And balanced. I mean, it's, it's like two hits, so it's basically skill percent, right? I guess, yeah. But the thing about Astro is like it's not even that great in this game. It's just you basically do two times, two and a half times the damage you otherwise would have done. Whereas Vengeance, I mean, I guess Vengeance in this case is literally doing nothing. I mean, Ether does also restore health. But, you know, details. Yeah. Yeah, for Ether it makes sense for it to be because Ether you said is like skill divided by two, right? Oh, there's two guys yeah, in range. Absolutely. Yeah. For Aether, it makes sense, because Aether is just too beneficial not to be, because Aether is basically the same as it is in Radiant Dawn, right? One Soul and one Luna. And yeah. All soul is weaker, and Luna is weaker than this game, but... Uh -huh. Is Soul just like Nosferatu, where it just drains half? Yeah, it just drains half. Yeah, okay. Okay, three generals. I honestly think yeah, if they're not... pretty sparse pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, yeah, that's what happens with Vengeance Nosferatu boy over here. Uh, okay. I think we'll see now maybe we'll take these. I think it'd be good to get her some exercise. Oh, actually... It's not too great. Finish that one guy and then take 27 from that one. And then how much should we take from this one? Probably about the same. 
In six, yeah, she years. dies. She died. Uh, you can kill one with uh, hand. Because Yarn is taking one of these boys out. Let me make sure this goes all right first. Yarn can actually take a hit from a bow knight, so I'm not too afraid of leaving him in range. We can also kill that bow knight. So if Yarn managed to kill one... We have the tools. We have the technology, too. Oh, you double. Krom, what are you doing? He's too good. Yeah. How, how's he yeah. against Palamon? Good question. Much uh, worse. Yeah, if we unequip Robin, it will work out. I think? Yeah, he's not dying. Not to kill the Bow Knight, but we have the means to kill the Bow Knight, I'm pretty sure, with Robin. Yeah, because he doubles. Yeah. That should work out. Okay, uh, so... This for a second. And, uh... Try not to get Bring a crit here. And it should be fine, right? Yeah. Crom might be too good for Zenger. Oh, I didn't check for skills. I should have done. Watch him have, like, counter. Paladin? I don't know. I know they usually, usually don't, but... He doesn't have anything. Let me check for his counter. So this guy has Bowbreaker. That's an interesting skill. Uh, he has Rally Speed, I think, or a skill. Yeah, that's what I meant. Does nothing. Donald have Bowbreaker? Um, I think Donald's still working on his stuff with his skill. He has, he has Rally Skill. I know that for sure. In your fighter. Okay. Oh, right, right. Donald is the is the rally man. Okay, so in that case, uh, we feed this one the yarn. What exactly was this guy just like? I'm loving this guy so far. Yeah, he's not bad. I'm still gonna reclass him because his weapon is just awfully inconvenient and very not ranged. Also, making roll very so fast, much. but he's getting so much HP. Holy shit! Oh my god, look at him go! I mean, his dad is Donald. <laughs> he has aptitude. Yeah, and he has aptitude. He's I should probably put his gross on screen at some point. I, I guess I'll just do it early on when, I, when we talk about him first. I, I really don't know what to do with this guy, other than just, you know, kill stuff. But that seems to be working out for him. Okay. Yeah, he's doing a pretty good job of that, so far. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Gregor double? Gregor no double. Gregor good weapon Auburn. kill? No. Gregor crit? Yeah, I guess, I guess uh, Gregor crit is the way to go. Maybe, or maybe Gregor dual strike. Yeah, let's try it. 61% from Naoi. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, Burger Soul? Yeah. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> Did you know that Soul in this game is uh, current HP percent? Shut up. <laughs> okay, we could even leave this guy alive. Let's see if he goes for Yarn. He probably will. And then we, can, we do want to kill this guy though, so he doesn't do anything uns unexpected. And we can make our way. We can we probably use Inigo then. Oh, the, the, what? You're a hero. This is a Val. Oh, cringe. It's just like FE7, man. Raven cannot double Valkyries because they're too fast for speed cap. Para bonuses. Yeah. I, I guess Kiel does have like awful para bonus speed wise. Alright, just uh. The good old killer axe it is then. I guess Inigo guides others to a treasure he cannot possess. Yeah. <laughs> Hardly a fair match. General one round Valkyrie by doubling. Okay, so you're going for Yarn. The huge. No, the huge. Um, okay, so you have Fake Free to do like work on these guys. Let's let's use Sully for a second. Actually, no, we want, we want to feed that one to Lucina because she's weak. So we need to feed her kills. That's how that's how Fire Emblem works. That's right. We have to feed her kills. Don't yeah. want to steal the XP. Yeah. Let's see. This is perfectly fine. It's Here hammer time. No problems with this at all. She got hit by a 14. You'll yeah, die for that. that. You'll you die for that. that. You'll die for that. We got the hammer. And... Hammer onto the pot. See ya. And then it's just a random silver axe out there in the woods. Yeah. Well, in the city. But... Yeah, he's I recall just... these villages giving a lot of good loot. Yeah, I would hope so. Go... I worked really hard for it. Yeah, I'm gonna check one out when I have the chance. Um, I'll probably heal Krom because he's like kind of a game over thing. Uh, let's try to hear you. There you go. The Almwood. Oh. Did that heal her? It didn't. Huh. Yeah. Hey. Uh, wait. Does she have loads of surf? Use it to heal the wielder. No, so. This staff says use it to heal the will. Oh, you can just use it as a phone. That's right. I think that's how it is. Oh, I get oh, it now. Yeah. 
It uses to heal Lissa's HP. Ah, I should have read it more closely. Okay. Speaking of other things we can use to heal the wielder, apparently we uh, use a concoction on Lucina when she had a parallel fountain. Oh, well. that's right. I saw that too. Yeah, I should take a, to keep note of that. I completely forgot you can do that. Um, speaking of concoctions, probably just going to use one on Vague just so he's like completely invincible. Right on, just a little bit invincible. There you go, Vague. Just as planned. Easy. Easy block. Well, right, can't oh. stop tanking. <laughs> and go for yarn. How much you pay? <laughs> They're mercenaries. <laughs> they already offered to, like, oh, hey, don't do that. Ooh. Hold up. Hold up. Whoa. Ooh. You can't just come at me like that. I mean, you only have a spear. You're never going to suicide. You also don't damage me, so. Can you be a little bit patient? I need to get a get a glowing tile real quick first. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you're guarding the village though, but he has a tomahawk. He's stonewalling us from the villages. Uh, that pair did a pretty good job of making sure I can get this kill. You do be a defensive knight. Do be careful. Do be careful. Dubious. Dooby. Dooby dooby doo. Scooby dooby doo. See, see. All I know is it's slang for I think weed. Uh, let's. It's fine. Let's see what we can get from visiting. I feel I've suffered enough for one band of cells strutting about, but two? Here, I'll give you this if you just make them stop fighting. I mean, we're, we're working on it. Does Next. that make us a band of cell swords? Now there's three strutting about? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I guess it is. Uh, let's make sure we don't forget about this one. Um, so we need about 32 damage to get rid of him. Uh, that's almost enough. How much you pay? How much you do? How much you crit? How much you do? How much now we do? Um, yes. Less, honestly. Oof. What if we just like hit him with Gregor, then hit him with Krom, and if that's not enough, then I don't know what is. Or if they, if they dual strike, he's also in range. So we don't get that 8% crit. <laughs> ah, yes. More crit activa more activations that don't do anything. Perfect. Ooh. My favorite. More yarn level. Plus two HP again, let's go. Yeah, let's go. I mean, it's basically Donald levels, right? Pretty good. Much. They got his growth, so they got his aptitude. Pots and pans. Wait, I won? Pots and pans. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, it's not as oh, much ding no. as I expected. I, I was, yeah, way fewer ding. I was, I was waiting for more dings. Oh. This stinks. Yeah, it stinks. So Robin can get this one. Please, I insist. The, the, well, the radiance of dawn. I have, I have bad news. Take this hammer. It'll send those pesky knights running for the hills. I'm. Is anyone gonna tell him? Is anyone gonna tell him what we did? No. We already have a hammer. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, if he's here, Sully has nine or ten more. Eight, almost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you're short. Cringe. Supporters of the Riders of Tana say that like they just got two basketball teams in the area. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, hold on. I need to try out this thing here, just to make sure my theory is correct. Item spawn staff. Wow, what a good item. <laughs> Second concoction. That's cool. I guess we get this other village first. We get that action economy. Let's go. Hello, boss. You'll never stop the un <laughs> You'll never stop the unending march of the Riders of Dawn. I've got you. The unending march, but it's July, bro. I mean, it's just unending because I'm gonna be. It's gonna be waiting until I'm done with getting that glowing tile. Mm -hmm. This guy's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Kind of annoying, yeah. Let's go here. Visits. Please, I insist. <laughs> <laughs> the Stonewall Knights. Try his lance. Beast Killer? Ah! That's pretty it's, cool. That's pretty. That's pretty they nice. give you those. Those yeah. are fun. 42. Yeah, he's, he's fine. What, do you, what dumb skills do you have? Indoor Fighter, Pass. Yeah, okay, we're good. And get this one. Hey! Iron Axe, how are to take out that guy? <laughs> Every time this lot has a, has a go, our fields get trampled and our houses destroyed, our crops get burned, and our water supply gets poisoned. Ain't no matter to us which side wins, as long as it's over quickly. Here, then, take this and get those sorry lunk heads out of there. What's, what the hell is lunk? Ooh, trick shit. Lunk? It's like a... Lunk? 
someone who like thinks with their muscles rather than their brain, I guess, oh. would be a lunk. Okay. So Vic? <laughs> the guy who he just visited the village? He would definitely qualify as a lunk. <laughs> a lunky? A lunk. Alright. A lunky. Get the tile. You get plus to no support point. Yeah. I polish and oil my armor. You never know when a battle will erupt after all. <laughs> you never God, know. Like, this yeah. is over. This is over already. I don't care. I mean, I'm pretty sure if there's anyone in our team who doesn't know when a battle's going on, it's probably Kiel. Everyone does zero damage to her. Yeah. <laughs> Did she? I don't think she. She took like a little bit of damage somewhere. Maybe that's just HP level ups, though. I like, see that's a more likely case. I don't think she ever took damage. Because I think like, she, look, she, I think she dodged all the Valkyries. If she started this map at level what five? Something like it. Hmm, juicy. She like looks up from her fashion magazine and there's like seven generals around all attacking. She's like, huh? Yeah. I was in like, combat. You'll never breach the impenetrable forces of the Stonewall Knights. Got news for you, though. Why do they got a cleat on their helmet? A cleat? Yeah, something. Hmm. Like they just got a. Is like Master Hand gonna come by and pick him up or something? It's there so you have like a crane handy. You, you can just pick him up. <laughs> it's only a part-time job. He usually works at like a, a fair or something. <laughs> we just fish him out <laughs> of a thing. <laughs> One of those uh, uh, claw machines. Not a fair. They don't even get a fair skill though. <laughs> Is he not a sniper? No. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Dude, freaking Robin could take him. He's not even paired up. We can make him paired up though. Ah, uh, we'll get support points from the Bowie tile now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I want to break this just because like the two users are annoying me. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. Let me get rid of this thing. Twenty nine. He has Pavis, but that doesn't do anything. Light damage. Oh, that's like, I guess that's like a claw, beast claw or something. Uh, there's a oh. class of monsters that uses blade. All right. Oh, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, I saw them in some encounters. Yeah, you're right. All right, this should be sufficient. Come on! They're sporting weapons. There's, this time has two uses. Better use it up. Oh, watch him Oko now. Checkmate. Don't forget me. <laughs> Don't forget me. Almost did. Not gonna lie. The painful tomahawk block. <laughs> Impossible. Too strong. Got him. We got through the impenetrable Stonewall Knights. Finally, a kill for Robin, my most unleveled unit. They didn't get strength again? He probably did. What else are we doing? Relationship theory? What's that sticking, What's out, that of sticking your out of your pocket? Oh god, no. Oh no. It's Here we go again. I switched to health tonic. I was going to save it for when you needed it. HP gained? Oh, relationship improved. Okay, alright. Just want to play it that way. Uh, you're not going to kill, right? He's no damage. Holy shit. It's terrible. Oof. Good news is he just survives. Yeah, outdoor fighter. This guy got the better deal, honestly. He's not fighting indoors, he's fighting outdoors. And an Aegis, that doesn't work on him. We should start it with this guy. Yeah. Alright, let's just uh, do it this way. Hit him twice, but... Here they come. How are you gonna counterattack? I'll just... Uh, I'll rescue over... I uh, actually can't rescue anymore. Um, I, can, I was gonna fly her over. Can we talk about how she has 11 move? I think that's kind of cool. I think Donald gives one, and then she also has, like, 8 from her base class. Deliver. Yeah, yeah, damn. Oh my god. Whee! <laughs> I, I believe think we I get can a, fly. I think we get a movement increasing item soon as well. We might as well put that on pan. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even moving these units. This is all kill. Careful now. I like this little background we got. We're fighting in a nice little glade in the woods. Those are very calming environments. Alright, let's, let's send this guy out in style. The beast killer. An unnecessary gesture, but come on. It's a painful gesture. But she's just like, yeah. So powerful. Wow. Oof. The only reason this episode was long was because there were so many enemies. <laughs> that There's a few of them, yeah. Trashing, damn. That was fun. Damn, well played. We'll get Yarn. We got him a few levels. Yeah. 
Do we get a reward from the village too? Yeah, we get oh, something. See this reward. Yeah. Right. Farm the land, your fields are pillaged. Open a shop and your goods are stolen. It's little wonder men take up steel and become mercenaries. Or worse. <sighs> so much gold. Come on, give me more. Give me some more gold. Come on. Ah. Give me some more gold. Gold. Prom, you're the king. Can't you just like print Thank some you. money? I should use some new currency. Give it. Give it. Give it. Mm. Tributes. Tributes? Tributes! Oh, Tribute. some money. Tribute. I think 10, you get a 000. little more if you were to kill every single red guy while siding with one of the greens. But I think honestly this is overall a better deal because it's all the experience and then what rank and support points and whatever. And then it's That's like, right. it's not that much more gold. It might be like 12k instead of 10k, but you know, who cares? Yeah, details. You. you. <laughs> ah, I'm scared. Okay, Bernadetta, calm down. Yeah, see, that's 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 Bernadetta. Hmm. Basically, right. Just checking. She's a scary cat. Just checking, bro. Just checking. Mm -hmm. I mean, like wow. rabbits are usually pretty frightful creatures, right? That's true. I guess that makes sense. But Pan isn't frightful at all. She's different. <laughs> I guess. I guess she's the exception that confirms the rule. Nope. You are living proof that men and Tigual can coexist. You have a husband. <laughs> No. Mm. Yeah, there's no way she doesn't marry a human. I was just like, what if you married? Oh, there's no dragons she can marry. Never mind. Right. All right. All right. Honestly, Yarn kind of overhated. I don't hate him right now. He makes a lot yeah, of sense to me. Karen. He's a cool dude. He did what he had to do, you know? He did the things. He's just chilling. Oh, ye. Oh, that was quick. That was a. I mean, you say it's quick, but the recording is literally an hour long. But hey, that's uh, it went by quick, I guess, because it was pretty easy. But hey, this is the way it went. Let me just activate these real quick. Power of Nas tanking. And can yarn. I imagine there's probably another kill in Ego or something. Oh, Lawrence Lucina is at A right now. Lauren Lucina? Oh, yep. I was going to say, I think they wanted us to read them, but... Yeah, that's right. We can read the S supports. And then we'll leave this one until my Patreons have decided everything. And then I'll probably also leave the kids pairings proper to the patrons. Like, if I really don't want, don't want to be, me to pair Lucina or Lauren, I'll do something about it. But I haven't made a poll on that yet. I probably should do it soon because I got, I was like four, five, five kids already. So I'll probably get working on those. Um, that sounded bad out of context, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Exactly. Should be good. Well, that was fun. I'll see you guys next well time. Well played. See you next time. Bye.